After stealing the show on the royal balcony, Prince Louis showed off his star power again today while watching the fourth day of Platinum Jubilee celebration. The four-year-old delighted crowds on Thursday as he stood next to his great-grandmother the Queen with his hands covering his ears amid the roaring cries of the public today. As he sat next to the Duchess of Cambridge in the royal box at the Platinum Jubilee pageant in London, he reacted with similar wonder at all that. at times, he was pictured cocking a snook, put his hands over his mother's mouth, waved his arms in the air and stood on his seat for a bet. He later moved across to his other relatives and sat on his grandfather Prince Charles' lap, who pointed out the spectacles in the parade. And of course, social media loved it, as Abby posted on Twitter. Prince Louis being iconic as always. Bell added, Prince Louis facial expressions are as legendary as ever. Canel cited L tweeted, Prince Louis deserves his own meme section. I can't with how expressive his face is. Love you little bug. Behind the little prince sat Mike Tyndall who at one point, entertained the boy with funny faces to keep him amused. The former England rugby player Tyndall, sitting in the row behind gestured and pointed to his eyes that he was keeping watch over him, as Kay chuckled at their inter- Leah posted online, unfortunately for Prince Louis, he can't be mischievous because Mike will make sure he behaves. Bell added, love this photo of Mike Tyndall teasing Prince Louis and making sure Hess well behaved for the Platinum Jubilee. Kate stroked Louis's shoulder before he got out of his seat and walked. The four-year-old prince then sat on his grandfather Prince Charles' lap who rocked him from side to he was then seen back with his mother Kate. Mia Tyndall sat on her father Mike's lap at one point in the concert, while Lena Tyndall sat on her cousin Savannah Phillips's lap. Meanwhile, the Princess Royal sat and clapped along to cool and the gang celebrate the prince had delighted royal fans by stealing the show on the balcony on Thursday after trooping the he let out a howl and covered his ears during the fly past and his gone gone the queen sweetly interacted with her great-grandson, leaning down to chat to him and point out the planes. Others in the royal box included Princess Eugenie, who bounced her baby son August on her lap. The one-year-old was wearing a jumper with a union flag on the front. Immediately to his left, the prince's two elder siblings Prince George and Princess Charlotte sat near their father and cut stately figures as they watched as Prince George stood for part of the parade. He mirrored his father William, both adjusting the front of their jackets at the same time. He was also spotted resting his head on his hand during the two and a half hour show. The Prince of Wales stood to receive the salute from troops of the house. He nodded in turn to the 42 units marching round the Queen Victoria Memorial. Other members of the royal family in the box included Princess Beatrice and Zara Tyndall with the Tyndall's two eldest children. Mia and Lena A colorful street pageant celebrating Queen Elizabeth II's life and highlighting Britain's diversity paraded through central London on Sunday, the final day of a long holiday weekend honoring the monarch's 70 years on. Royal fans were hoping to see another glimpse of the 96-year-old Queen later at Buckingham Palace, where the with the ringing of bells at Westminster Abbey, a spectacular military parade featuring 200 horses began the ceremony. As they marched down the mall to Buckingham Palace, they flanked the Gold State Coach, a gilded carriage that transported the Queen to her coronation 69 years ago. The Queen wasn't taking part in the pageant, though a virtual version of her, drawn from archival video from her 1953 coronation, was shown at the coach.